Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's Christian Chit Chat video, I am sharing with you five tips to maximize your quiet time. So if you're interested in seeing that, then keep on watching. on my Instagram I share um, a lot of snippets of like my morning quiet time routine um, if you aren't following me on Instagram make sure that you're following me um, but I share a lot of the behind the scenes um, I share like some of the things that I'm studying um, and I've gotten a lot of questions about my quiet time routine um, and how I make the most of it. So I wanted to come on here and share five tips for maximizing your quiet time routine. So my first tip is to pray briefly before you start. Number one, pray briefly before you start. And I think that this is so important because before you go into your quiet time, it is important to really ask God um, to show you what it is that you need to be learning to direct you through your quiet time so you're not going just based off how you feel but that you're going based off what it is that he wants you to learn and then also i pray for clarity i pray for my mind to be free of all distractions worries anxieties right so that i can be focused strictly on um what i am studying so that is tip number one pray briefly before you start um, so tip number two for maximizing your quiet time is to set the atmosphere right so great praise and worship doesn't only have to happen at church, right? I know a lot of us think that the atmosphere that um, is provided at church is an atmosphere that we can only get there. But I think it's really important to know that you can create that atmosphere yourself at home. And so maybe that might look like if you have your quiet time in the morning or at night, maybe just turning on a lamp so that the lights are dim. Um, I like to light a candle and then I also like um to play praise and worship music in the background throughout my whole study time i do have a whole um worship playlist and i will link that in the description box below um so that is tip number two to make sure that you set the atmosphere right um so that you welcome god into your space tip number three is to turn off your phone or put it on do not disturb if you are anything like me then the moment that your phone dings buzzes anything like that you like immediately pick it up and, and one thing that i found is is that Satan will use anything to distract you from spending time with God, right? So it might be an email that comes in. You're like, okay, let me just check this. Let me respond to this really quickly. And then you end up postponing your quiet time or you get a text message or a phone call. Um, and you're like, let me take this real quick. And it ends up going from a five minute phone call to a 30 minute phone call, right? The devil will use anything to try to keep you from spending time with God. So I always say to turn off your phone or put it on do not disturb. So tip number four for maximizing your quiet time is to always take notes. And so I do this in my Bible. I do have a journaling Bible. So this is what my Bible looks like. And as you can see, it has lines on the side. Um, so I like to write notes on the side. And then I also um, tend to use like sticky notes and highlighting. And I write like notes and arrows and stuff like that. And so um, this is just really important because I like to pull out what the scripture is saying. I like to write the definitions of words if I don't um, quite understand what that word means and stuff like that. And so I think notes are really important when you're studying the Bible, when you're doing your quiet time so that you can go back and you can remember them. The next way that I take notes is in my Bible study journal. And so this is a product that is on my site and it is available right now. Um, so I wanted to just briefly show you guys um, what that looks like. So this is the Bible study journal. Um, all the pages are the exact same. And so it starts at the top with you putting the date, um, the book that you're reading, and then also the chapter that you're reading. So today I read Numbers chapter 13. And then the first section is just the names and the places that were mentioned in the chapter. Um, and then the second section is words that you don't know and definitions. Once again, it's so important if you do not know any word, not to just skip over it, but to actually figure out what it means so you can understand um, the context of the scripture and what the scripture is actually trying to say. Um, because if you don't know that, if you don't have the knowledge, then you can't have the application, right? And that is the whole point of studying the scriptures. So the first part is names and places mentioned in the chapter. The second part is words that you don't know and their definitions. 
and then the third section is just a brief summary of the chapter and so I was always taught in school that um, it's important to try to summarize things in your own words so that way um, it's clear that you're actually comprehending what you're reading and then the last part is what lesson is this passage teaching me and how can I apply it, right? Because that's the whole point of reading the Bible once again for application, um, for growth, um, and for us to learn how to live as Christians um, practically in our day-to-day -day lives. So this is the Bible study journal and you can get it on my website right now. So that is how I personally take notes during my quiet time. So my fifth and my final tip for maximizing your quiet time is to use additional resources if necessary. Um, I know sometimes like when you're reading the Bible, especially if you have like um, versions that you don't quite understand, like the New King James Version um, or anything like that, it can be really hard to understand what the Bible is saying. And so I always use additional resources like... Um, the Blue Letter Bible app is really good um, for like a concordance and to figure out like the, what the words mean and like the Hebrew and the Greek translations. Um, so I always use that. I use the Version Bible app um, to read the book in different um, versions. And so my favorite versions are the New Living Translation, the Amplified, Amplified Classic Version, as well as um, the Message Version sometimes. So those are pretty much the three translations that I use on there um, and then also YouTube there's plenty of resources here on YouTube um, I have a couple of Bible study videos on the book of James and the book of Ephesians um, so I'll link those in the description box um, and then also this might sound funny but if there's like a book of the Bible or a story that I don't understand I often look up like animated videos that are usually for kids but it breaks it down um the story in a really simple way and it's really helpful for me so I recommend that for you guys as well. So once again here are my five tips for maximizing your quiet time with God. Number one is to pray briefly before you start. Number two is to set the atmosphere. Number three is to turn off your phone or put it on do not disturb. Number four is to always take notes. And number five is to use additional resources if necessary. So I really want to hear from you guys. What are some tips that you have for maximizing your quiet time? What does your quiet time look like? Let me know in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.